Here we have the all-new 2024 Chevrolet Silverado EV. Now this one comes in the RST trim level. Black on black Evo Tex interior. We have an electric motor on each axle giving us 754 horsepower, 785 pound-feet of torque. And this is riding on the 205 kilowatt hour battery. And then we do get a max charging speed of up to 350 kilowatts when DC fast charging. But to the front end here, really, there's a really big difference between the RST and the work truck model while still, you know, they have their similarities, but this just looks so awesome. I love the grill down here. We have the illuminated bow tie here, the LED light strip, the LED headlamps, of course, but it just, especially in this black has such a stance to it. And one of the things that really makes this thing stand out in general are these 24 inch aluminum wheels. They're absolutely massive, but they really look good on this truck because it is a pretty big vehicle. And I'm glad I got to review this one right after I did the cyber truck a few days ago because I really want to compare apples to apples here. Now we do get passive keyless entry on all four doors. And then we have one touch automatic up and down windows on the front. Just express down windows for the back, power door lock controls, memory seat functions. And then we do have our power mirrors that also power fold with blind spot monitors. Premium Bose sound system bottle holders, map pocket. And this is more of a traditional truck as opposed to the cyber truck I just reviewed. But over here, we can go ahead and adjust our ride height, lane keeping system, the front, and then that rear tailgate. And we also have the electronic parking brake there, trailer brake controller, power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. And again, just more of a, a traditional vehicle, just how it's set up. But here's the power driver's seat. We do get four-way power lumbar support. And I'll show on the test drive later on, but this also has the four-wheel steering like the Cybertruck and the Hummer EV. So I'm gonna test that out and see how I like that. I've already kind of gotten a little play with it and it's interesting. It's not as agile I feel as the Hummer EV and the Cybertruck, but it's still, this also feels longer as well. But, Big shout out to Chevrolet Buick GMC of Murfreesboro for allowing me to review this truck today. I'll leave a link below in the description. And if you're looking to get, if you're looking to get the best price on one of these in your area, click on that link down below and go ahead and fill out the info. It takes a minute or two and I'll get the dealers in your area fighting to get you that best price on one of these. <clears throat> but legroom is fantastic. A lot better back here than in the Cybertruck and in the Hummer EV. This feels like a traditional Silverado. This does have the standard fixed panoramic roof here with this being an RST. And I just really like that this still feels like a Silverado. It just, it just happens to be electric. All the controls are in the same area, the rear AC vents, three stage heated outboard seats. And then we have a three prong 120 volt plug-in, two USB-C charge ports storage here. And it's just a, a very, it's very spacious in here. Bottle holders are here. So let's go ahead and check out one of the coolest features of the RST version of the Silverado EV is that run through that we have between the cabin and the actual truck bed. So we pull up here, pull there, and then I have to pull the seat down. And you wanna make sure that these are folded down as well. Kinda of hard to do with one hand, but making it work. And once that's in place, all you do is click this button here. It releases this and then there you have it. And you can run longer objects through the cabin if you want to. So a pretty neat feature, in my opinion. And then you just go in reverse to put it back together. And the top tethers were on the back of this seat itself. And then you have your latch anchors here. So it's kind of a little bit of a gap. And with that being said, these are not the most comfortable seats, but they get the job done. And I think it's a pretty good trade-off so that you can have the capability that this pickup has. Now, again, we do get 350 kilowatt max charging speed on the DC fast charger. And I like that it's illuminated around there as well. It's a neat touch. And then I have the multi-step tailgate folded out so you can see how that functions. 
And again, when that's folded down at the back seat, we can run longer objects through. And then we have a 240 volt, two 120 volts over here. And I'm just gonna fold this back up. So we can see the actual back end because it is a beautiful truck. And this is one thing I feel like this does have over the Cybertruck is, although the Cybertruck looks futuristic, this just, it's pretty to look at here. This is a very, very pretty truck in my opinion. To the front passenger side, same power adjustability, four-way power lumbar support. And I will say again, I love just the small touches that GM kind of put on this Silverado EV, having the red stitching there, the blue stitching as well. Subtle, but it does pop. Storage compartment here, lockable glove compartment. I think it's venting out right now. And to go ahead and open the frunk, I'm just gonna go in here. Just press that button there and it'll open. So, pretty good storage in here. Another 120 up there, if you wanna charge your laptop or something and just kinda of have it sitting there, you can. And then if we wanna close it, I'm sure there's a button up there to shut it. I'm assuming there is, but we can just hold the button here and then it'll shut. Now you can just press it once to open, but you do have to hold it to shut it all the way from the driver's seat. Speaking of which, hopping in here, nice leather wrap steering wheel, very thick padding. There's the horn. And I just like the overall look here. We do have the Super Cruise as well. So the indicator is there and then the sensor is there and it's showing the tailgates open. I bet I didn't shut that all the way, so I'll close it before I take this out for a drive. But let's go to the 17 inch screen here. So over here, we do get AM, FM, XM radio. We get Bluetooth audio. And then since we are going on this new platform that GM is introducing to its customers, you don't get that Apple CarPlay, Android Auto compatibility, unfortunately. But you do have Google Maps as well as Alexa, podcast news and all of that three-stage heated cool front seats and then we have the dual zone automatic climate controls too now your controls are going to be in here so there are several different features on this one as opposed to the regular silverado ev the work truck so a lot going on here you can turn your rear steering on or off the park assist you do get the automatic park assist as well i actually hit this button right here and then on top of that all of your cameras and whatnot so we get the 360 or the bird's eye view, excuse me, overhead camera, side camera, all of that. So just so much that you can configure there. And we also have a heads up display, which is nice. Now, if you wanna go in here and change some settings, go to vehicle, you can turn on your teen driver, rear seat reminder, buckle to drive, your super cruise lane change, and then your suspension, you can fool with that as well if you're needing to work on it. And then down here to the system settings, you can change your language or your units of measurement right in here. Now, this is where it gets kind of weird. So I want to show this. We don't have push button start here, but we can adjust the one pedal driving and then the power base here. So if you want to go ahead and let's say, I don't know, plug in, if you want to charge another vehicle or if you want to go ahead and run something you can use the power base and then it literally is just kind of like a, a power bank that you can use just using the vehicle's battery without necessarily having it on so it's a neat feature but this over here we can turn the vehicle on or off there i have it set to the timer so this button if you don't want it to shut off as soon as you close the door and get out the truck you can leave it running for whatever reason and then again those controls are there and then your headlamp controls are right there so power there, volume control there. And I like the graphics too for that. Thought you could mute it by clicking it, but I guess not. So again, even 
aux switches are here you have six of those settings you want to set something up there universal home remote just so much on this rst and then we do have controls and buttons down here for fan speed all the quick shortcuts you normally want including the temperature there wireless charging pads here two usb-c charge ports 12 volt here storage right in there and it does run all the way underneath here you can actually move this back and forth there's a little latch right here so we can cover all that up and it'll look just like a typical center console space and then you can lift this up and then there's an additional storage spot with a USB-C port and then you do get a nice little light in there as well rear camera mirrors here hazards getting that fixed glass roof look at the back seat from up here and then just a quick run through of the steering wheel and the stalks on either side so the shifter is right here so you just grab it pull for neutral pull then down for drive pull then up for reverse press here to put it in park and then we can toggle it for night and once in one pedal drive our regenerative braking there and then we do get adaptive cruise and then we toggle the super cruise after turning the adaptive cruise on we can adjust the gap for that there and then we can set our speed here hit it steering wheel toggle bluetooth and then we can go through when applicable certain menus so we can go through our radio station favors just on the fly there but if i hit this i can actually change the view i get in the gauge cluster there so i like that feature and then if i go to audio here i can use this to scroll again but voice recognition windshield wipers intermittent on there low high and then off and then your fluid right in there and then we do have our high beams, which we can toggle as well. So that heads up display and just so many features on this truck. So it is taking me a, a bit. And then over here we have the vanity mirror. And there's the key fob. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and shut everything up before I take this out on the road for a quick test drive, but let's go ahead and get to it. So starting the test drive in the Silverado EV, God, dog. So I had it in whatever that wow mode is and what in the world? This thing freaking pulls. I don't know. It didn't feel safe, but <laughs> it sure was fun. That's something else. Now, when you do have the wow mode on, you do get that 754 whatever it is 785 pound feet of torque and uh yeah i felt that definitely because i drove the foundation series cyber truck it wasn't the uh the beast mode when it was just the dual motor setup and it didn't feel nearly as quick as this just did but uh i want to try and do that again and what's nuts is these are 24 inch wheels so <laughs> it's crazy how this thing gets going all right here we go Oh my gosh. Whoo. Oh my goodness gracious. And it doesn't even feel right because you're having to keep the grip going because it tries to lose you just even if you turn the steering wheel a little bit because I'm in the, um, the four wheel steering mode my gosh but still easy to control which i appreciate i didn't feel like i mean i trusted the vehicle and maybe i shouldn't have but i did so super cruise here it's kind of waking up because it's not in the lane but Let's see if we can get it going there we go yeah it's, it's off a little bit so I have to check that out but super cruise is supposed to just do everything for you and make sure you're good to go in terms of just staying in the lines and so on and so forth. Adaptive cruise and all that. Now what I do appreciate is the fact that this thing rides so well. You do get the adaptive air suspension and it definitely comes in handy in something that's this size and with the low center of gravity and all that. And it does make this ride again very nicely. And that's one of the things that I appreciate about the Silverado EV as opposed to the Cybertruck. And 
even the Hummer EV, this just feels like the more practical choice. Now with the price tag being almost a hundred thousand dollars, I see why, like when it, they first showed this, when this truck was released like a couple years ago, when they announced it, I should say, and they said that it was gonna be priced like a hundred and six thousand dollars. I'm thinking, you gotta be crazy. But thinking about what you get here, you have to put it in perspective, right? Cybertruck's going for 94 grand now. And of course, most people are flipping those. I shouldn't say most, but a lot of people are flipping those and they're going for 120, 130 now. When they first, first came out, they were going for like 150, 160. And on these, they're not as coveted. And that kind of just shows what's wrong with us as consumers because after driving this, I just feel like this is a better electric truck than the cyber truck yet you're not seeing these going for 20 30 grand over sticker but you have a range here epa estimated with 24 inch wheels 400 miles on a charge so i was showing i think 360 before i drove this and i had two hardcore pulls in the wow mode here and yeah, it really is a big difference. The wow mode's on is just nuts, but still a quick truck just in the normal drive mode. But again, I just feel like this is a, just a better option from a practical standpoint. You get Super Cruise, which I just think is a better self-driving software than Tesla's, even though it did kind of uh, show its ugly head there on the interstate. I don't know what's wrong with it because that's never happened to me before in a GM vehicle using Super Cruise. But this is just a really, it's a very, very good truck, I think. Having that mid gate, being able to fold that up or down is a nice touch. And I'm just in awe at all, all that you get here for the same price as Cybertruck. Now, with that being said, this one is for sale at Chevrolet Buick GMC of Murfreesboro. And if you're looking to get one of these in your area, just go ahead and click on that link down below. Fill out the info, takes a minute or two, and we get the local dealers fighting to get you that best price on one of these. And cool thing is, since this is not a Tesla, you could probably get you a deal on one of these if you look hard enough. But very impressive truck in terms of performance and amenities, and definitely range. So this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2024 Silverado EV RST.